Almost everyone who is experiencing a chronic disease has digestive issues. Maybe there is bloating, maybe it's really difficult to digest food, etc. And in this video, I'd like to talk about the four reasons why you might be having digestive issues. And when I used to have a chronic disease, almost 10 years ago when it started, I could hardly digest anything. But over time, this gradually improved. So I don't really focus that much on, uh, on digest digestive issues, because what we basically see is that when we release a lot of the stressors, this improves automatically. So then we come to the first uh, reason already, stress. First reason is stress. Stress activates the fight or flight mechanism of the nervous system. This means that you're resisting something, you're fighting something, or you're running away from something. This means that you are in survival mode, and it's very important for you to have a lot of muscle strength and clear thinking. At the same time, a lot of other bodily processes, such as the digestion, is not really important. And over time, this will weaken your digestion, and you can experience that in all kinds of things. This will usually improve when you calm down. Reason number two, emotions. We process our emotions with our organs. And one of those organs are the digestive organs, like the intestines. And when there is a lot of pressure on these organs, the, it becomes harder for the organs to do what they're there for, digesting food. And when you're releasing, for example, anger, you'll notice that afterwards the digestion is easier. It becomes easier, especially over time. Reason number three, if your body is in a state of stress for a very long time, you're going to create imbalances, such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, candida, mold, etc. Um, we can focus on this and really use a lot of detox pills and, and stuff to clean the intestines and the body from all these unwanted pathogens. This could help, but if you're still very stressed and if there are still a lot of emotions on your intestines, then this won't work at all. So if you're still having lots of problems after your health has been improving already, you can start with some detox uh, stuff. But generally what we see is that when you get into a state of homeostasis, when, the, when you feel better, then this will catch up automatically and you'll feel better. But that doesn't work for everyone. Some people, they need the help of some extra detox substances. Reason number four, all kinds of intolerances. So because of stress, the digestive system is weakened. And maybe over time, the intestinal wall becomes sort of damaged. And small particles like gluten can enter the bloodstream. And that can create a lot of fatigue and other symptoms. So then we talk about lots of intolerances, maybe um, things like gluten, dairy, alcohol, sugar, processed food. All these stuff can really make your digestion worse. And therefore, I recommend almost everyone to stop using these substances and, and take some unprocessed food and don't take gluten and maybe do a test. So there is, a, for example, a blood test to see which foods you can digest easily and then just stick with that for, let's say, a year. The, um, it's really important to not become obsessed with your diet because when your diet becomes another source of stress, then it doesn't really make a difference. So you're trying to fight stress with more stress and more stress and then you can enter a downward spiral. Therefore... I choose wisely, I think, to not really obsess about diet and only have briefly some information about this. Because what we usually see is that after many releases and healthy habits, the body calms down and then the digestive system sort of just catches up automatically. And then there is also a reason number five, bonus. But for a very small minority there are some other medical problems causing digestive issues. This is usually less than 1% of everyone that I, that, I, that I speak. 
Therefore, you can still go to your, uh, to your doctor or to the hospital and do an examination. And maybe there is something else that is disturbing your digestion. But I only focus on the four because that's the one I can work the, the ones I can work with, and we're talking about less than one percent that has other issues. If you're enjoying this content, then please subscribe, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video.